Hey there, and my name is Josh. I'm the founder of HR University, where we teach you how to become a great manager. But before we jump in, take a moment to subscribe to our channel, and that way you don't miss any of our future lessons and videos on how to become a great management professional. Now let's get started. So change management is critical for business success in today's ever-changing world, and technology keeps evolving, customer trends change, new market regulations launch regularly, and businesses must cope with often unusual global crises. And it's not surprising that people resist change. And because of this, a majority of enterprise transformation efforts are unsuccessful. And that is why organizations want to hire the best candidates for change management roles. And hiring managers use interviews to select candidates with change management skills and expertise. And preparation is the key to a successful interview. And that is the purpose of this lesson, to help you prepare. The interview questions depend on the exact role and its requirements, varying from one company to another. And before any interview, take the time to read the job description carefully and research the company. That will help you anticipate the kinds of change management questions that you can expect. And in this lesson, we have compiled a list of change management questions that you can expect to be from interview to interview and that underlie the foundation of change management interviews. Now, they're going to be more personalized based on the company you apply to, but it's important to prepare for these ones particularly. Now, let's go ahead and look at the questions and we'll give you some tips on how to answer them as well. So the first question here is, what do you know about change management? This general question about change management asks you to highlight your knowledge and experience. While answering this question, don't restrict yourself to a particular area of change management. Use your knowledge to mark yourself and increase your credibility. Start by defining change management and highlighting your understanding of its key principles and strategies. You can also discuss the stages of change, the importance of communication for effective change, and the role of leadership. If you have experience, you can share examples of how you implemented change in different organizations. Also, leadership and management experience can help you stand out from the competition, especially when you apply for senior roles. And if you don't have experience but have completed a certification or a course, you can talk about change management through more theoretical practices and foundations, which include things like the principles and best practices, as well as tools that you may have practiced with and used. Now let's move on to question number two. What do you know about the qualities of a change manager? This question is relevant if you're applying for the change manager role. And even if you are not applying for a change manager's role, knowing its requirements will help you acquire the necessary skills and competencies to take on the role at an opportune time, so any other role within change management. One of the most important requirements for the role is the knowledge of change management principles. And again, leadership skills help change managers inspire and motivate teams to adapt to new situations and incorporate employee feedback and concerns to improve the change management process. And effective communication skills help change managers build relationships and collaborate with relevant stakeholders. And analytics expertise helps change managers make data-driven decisions that align with goals of the change initiative. And business acumen gives change managers a better understanding of the overall objectives, allowing them to make better decisions. And problem-solving skills help change managers identify the root cause of problems that arise during the change implementation process. And project management skills help change managers manage complex projects with multiple stakeholders and meet the scope, time, and budget constraints. Now let's go ahead and look at question number three. How would you respond to a manager's request to change your work style? It's often difficult to change your work style. However, if you can't deal with transformations in your job responsibilities and around you, well then you'll run into many problems in your career. And hiring managers need candidates who can step out of their comfort zones to participate in the evolution of the company. In your answer, show that you understand that situations require people and employees, stakeholders, and you to accept change with time and that you can adjust your style as per the organization's need. And tell the interviewer that upon receiving such a request, you'll ask your manager to clarify what they want you to change and why, so you can better understand their expectations and the reason behind the request. Once you have clarity from them, you can start to consider different ways you can adapt your work style to better align with the manager's expectations. And you can also seek guidance from colleagues and mentors who have experience with similar situations. And training and coaching can also help you develop the required skills. Now let's go ahead and move on to question number four here. What ways have you been resistant to change in the past? And how did you deal with it? This behavioral question helps the interviewer understand how you handle actual workplace situations. There is no denying that change is difficult for people to accept. This tendency does not only apply to those who have to adapt to change, it is also applicable to people who are driving the change. 
When answering this question, you can pause and think of a specific example from your experience that demonstrates the answer. And you can use the STAR framework to answer the question here. So describe the situation and when it took place, explain the task and the goal, provide details about the action you took to achieve the goal, and conclude with the result and impact of your action. And moving on to question number five, why do you believe people are resistant to change? As a change management professional, you must understand why teams and individuals resist change. Without this understanding, you cannot implement effective change. And there are several reasons for this employee resistance. So many people fear change because they're unsure of what will happen next. And they resist change even if it would benefit them in the long run. Another reason is that people thrive on routine and habit. Too many differences can be distracting and confusing, so they find it hard to step out of their comfort zones. And sometimes this threat is very real. It can happen when new technologies displace old ones, leading to mass layoffs, maybe lower prices or loss of investments. And as a change agent, you cannot always make people feel comfortable with change. However, you must work to minimize the discomfort. Diagnosing a source of resistance is the very first step toward a good solution. And this way you can help people understand the reasons behind the change and its benefits and improve their chances of accepting it. Moreover, feedback also helps you gain employee acceptance for change. Now let's go ahead and dive into question number six here. In your opinion, what are the biggest roadblocks to change? And many roadblocks that you'll see to change, lack of employee involvement is a major one that leads to fear of the unknown. And employee involvement is key to overcoming this roadblock and it requires listening to the employee's opinions and ensuring the change is for their good and for all others in the organization. Another roadblock is an effective communication strategy. Organizations often rely on announcements and misassume that people adjust to new developments. An effective communication strategy helps overcome this roadblock by informing employees about the change as well as how the change will affect them and how the organization will help them adapt to the change. Another roadblock is organizational complexity, which is a result of complex processes, products, and systems. A diligent and effective project and change management approach is the key to overcoming these roadblocks. And finally, let's look at question number seven. What are the seven R's of change management? Well, seven R's of change management provide a framework for planning and implementing change initiatives. And by understanding these R's, change management professionals ensure effective planning and execution of business transformation initiatives. Moreover, these seven R's help to ensure stakeholder engagement and support. And the seven R's stand for reason, relation, risk, resource, responsibility, return, and resistance. These R's raise questions, and if you know the answers to them, then you'll have a good foundation for the skills and knowledge to ensure a seamless change management plan. The questions that parallel the seven R's here are what is the reason behind the change? What is the relationship between this change and other changes? What are the risks associated with the change? What resources support change implementation? Who is responsible for managing the change process? What return and goals are required from the change? And seven here is how will you handle resistance associated with change. And there you have it. We just went over some common questions you can expect in a change management interview process when you're interviewing for whether that be a change manager role or another role within change management. And thank you for watching this lesson. If you feel like you have a better understanding of how to prepare for the interview process here, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And that way you can keep up to date with everything on how to become a great management professional. And again, my name is Josh. I'm the founder of HR University, and I'll go ahead and see you on some of our other lessons and videos. Cheers.